an employer is wise to have some kind of appropriate contract or agreement with employees with respect to data security and privacy kinds of issues. And so this policy might be in the form of a binding employee handbook. It could be in a contract that's signed by uh, the employee. It could be other kinds of policies that employees are uh, told that are uh, binding when they're uh, in the workplace. From the point of view of data security and privacy, a good employee uh, handbook often will notify employees that the employee is not entitled to any privacy and should not expect privacy with respect to any communication or data that the employee exchanges through equipment that is owned by the employer. Thus, it notifies the employee that if she is using her desktop computer that's owned by the employer, then the employer has the right to monitor the emails and, and other kinds of communications and uh, documents that are sent through or stored on that desktop computer. A related kind of idea is bring your own device where the employee might have his own smartphone, his own tablet that he uh, uses for work purposes. From the point of view of the employer, the employer wants to ensure that there are appropriate procedures and rules for the employer to be able to gain access uh, to this device and the services connected to the device if the employee is actually using this for business because this uh, document uh, uh, stored on a, a tablet could be a spreadsheet, for example, that's actually owned by the employer and the employer wants to make sure I can get access to that spreadsheet if the uh, uh, employee ceases to cooperate with me or no longer is, is working for me. A related topic is acceptable use. So an employee handbook will often wisely make sure that there is a, a clear set of guidelines, binding guidelines for employees that say when you are using company equipment or when you're using your own device within the workplace or for purposes of work, you will uh, perform only in an acceptable way. And so examples of unacceptable use would be uh, discriminatory types of uh, communications, pornography, um, uh, uh, things, uh, communications and, and uh, pictures uh, that would uh, make other employees uh, within the organization feel uncomfortable. The organization wants to make clear that this kind of behavior is not allowed within the workplace because it could be evidence of a hostile work environment. In order to learn more about the course that I teach at the SANS Institute, you can click the link below. Also, another link below uh, provides more information about me and my work in private practice.